right. I don't even know where to start, really. Um, please excuse the mess in my kitchen behind me and my bed. Um, it's morning, kind of. It's almost noon. Um, but I've yet to really get moving. Um, still in my socks. Still in my robe. <laughs> um, I'm watching the news, getting caught up on the new counts overnight of corona cases. Um, trying to eat. And as I sit here and I, you know, eat one handful at a time, as I do, and I'm pouring just a tiny bit of milk at a time out of my little gallon, I inevitably shake and end up spilling on myself. So then I'm wiping that up and I'm thinking, my God, it's one thing after another. And it's taking me forever to finish what little bit of milk I have with a few handfuls of cereal. And, and I'm all discombobulated, I guess, because I'm off my meds again right now. I'm off everything, like pill pack. Don't mean to diss pill pack because I was really excited to get my stuff put together with pill pack. I sent everything last month in these nice little bottle uh, boxes, and I could just pull the strips out, and it had my meds all in. Well, this one only had one of my night meds, but then I got another box that had all of my other, you know, general day meds. And this month, all of my psych meds were supposed to be put together with them. And, um, I was expecting the shipment on, like, Tuesday. I got a text on the on March 30th telling me that it was going to be sent, that it was due to be sent. So I'm like, cool, I don't even have to call them. It's just going to come, and I'm so excited. It's all going to be together, and nothing shows on, you know, Monday, not, not, not really surprised, but when it doesn't show on Tuesday, I'm like going, what in the world? And by Thursday, I run out. So I call them on Friday and I tell them that I'm taking my, uh, my reserve pills that day, you know, cause like there were still a few days I forgot and I would take them out the back and put them in my little bottle in my purse for when I'm somewhere else. And I ended up having to use all of those yesterday, and this morning I have nothing to take, and already it's affecting my um, tremors just a little bit, I don't know if you can see, and in pouring my milk I spilled, and I'm still kind of, my robe is still kind of wet here, and it really irritates me because I just want to keep eating my cereal, and then I'm sitting here going, damn it, I have all this on my mind, and I can't. Something came on the news that I wanted to write down, and I went to, sat my bowl down, and I pulled my word paper up, because I've always got that, I've always got a document open, and uh, I was going to take note of the new count on the coronavirus worldwide. Um... We're up to like 1,200,000 something now, and 270,000 in the United States. Um, we've lost more than 8,000 people here in the United States. That many have died. Uh, I think just about that number of said to have actually recovered too from those that have gone in the hospital. Um, a lot of people just get it and recover and stay home. Sometimes it's not too bad. I don't know. It's a very strange thing. And um, I pushed on my document and it like just froze up. It told me that it wouldn't. Well, 
I wanted to dictate it so I could keep eating. And I pushed on my little dictate button and it says I can't access your microphone. Office can't access your microphone. So I tried to sign out and sign back into my office under my author account and it came up with the sign in page and it's just frozen. It won't let me even type anything to sign in and now I'm gonna have to go to task manager and close out my word and pretty sure I saved after the last thing I wrote last night, but it's kind of gibberish. I must have been really tired. There's a little bit of gibberish there. I'm gonna have to make out some of what I was saying. <laughs> Sometimes I write into the night until I just fall asleep. Um I'm just so frustrated because it's just like nothing nothing has gone right already. And um being without, you know, my at Carvedopa for my the Parkinson's is just no fun because then I resort to feeling like crap and shaking and and not being able to chew or swallow well. Um but being without my psych meds is a little bit more uh desperate because I um, already feel myself going on that emotional roller coaster ride. I was in tears already this morning just talking about a phone call I had yesterday uh, with <laughs> who was it that came in? <laughs> oh, with my friend Ben before he left for work. Um, all right, so. Anyway, that's how I'm doing this morning. How are you guys all doing <laughs> under the stress of this coronavirus? Go ahead and leave me a comment below if you like. Tell me where thing, how things are, wherever you are. Um, I'm really interested how things are going around the world, all around the world, and around the country. And uh, yeah, let me know if you like. And uh, go ahead, like, subscribe. I'm going to keep posting. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to keep doing it. Anyway. Um, Love you, Darko. Bye.